Hey. Nothing like a classic robe opening to the next vlog. I feel like this is how I start every single vlog in my robe. Just had woken up. Welcome to the vlog. I got some groceries yesterday, so I'm about to maybe make some chia seed pudding. And I know that's what you've all been asking for, my chia seed pudding recipe and my cleaning fruit routine. I'm just so happy to see you guys. Aww. Hope you're all having a good day. Okay, so my berries are sitting in the vinegar and water mixture, and now I'm gonna make chia seed pudding. I'm gonna put yogurt and milk in it as well. Okay, this is the lineup. This is what I'm using. I'm well aware that using this like regular milk is insane, but I always get regular milk when I make when I make mac and cheese, and it goes to waste, and I feel really guilty about that. So I'm trying to use it. I made that chia seed pudding. I don't know if you could tell in the time lapse that it was like a little bit more chaotic than I was expecting it to be. I was just like spilling a lot and like, I'm just like measuring shit and it's like, can I just eyeball? I don't know why I just feel the need to measure everything. So it just like wasn't as like easy peasy as I thought it was gonna be, but it's fine. We'll try it tomorrow and we'll see how it turned out. I'm obviously driving now and I'm going to lunch with my parents and my brother for our little like weekly lunch that we do now which is so fun got back from lunch a little bit ago well a while ago Cody made dinner want to tell everybody what you made it's a ground beef Thai noodle bowl it looks really good what I'm trying to see if I could smell it in his breath <laughs> Whoa, that is good. Really? That is really good. Really, really, really flavorful. Woo! He's a brilliant chef. It's really, really good. Hello, sorry to interrupt the vlog, but we have a very important sponsor for today's video and I wanna talk to you guys about them and that is BetterHelp. Something that I have been thinking about so much lately is just like how I'm going to balance work and being a mom and just kind of like how I can be the best possible mother ever. I want to like make sure I'm there for my child as much as I can be and so I've been thinking a lot about going to therapy because I think that would really help me and I think it could really just help anyone honestly anyone like regardless of anything any human just going through day-to-day -day life stuff therapy can give you so many tools to approach your life and these situations in a different way and I just think it's so beneficial for everyone and I know I want to dive more into my therapy journey and if there's anyone else out there who also wants to I think BetterHelp is the perfect option BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and more accessible and that's so important because finding Finding a good therapist can be so hard, especially in certain areas, because you're like limited to the options in your area, but using BetterHelp, you have just so many more options to find someone who works for you. BetterHelp is a platform that makes finding a therapist easier because it's online, it's remote, and by filling out a few questions, BetterHelp can match you to a professional therapist in as little as a few days. It's so easy to sign up and get matched with a therapist. There is a link in my description to get started. I know that like finding a therapist is a little bit like dating. So if you do find a therapist that maybe you like, but then you kind of want to change, you totally can. You can easily switch to a new therapist at no additional cost without stressing about insurance or who's in your network or anything like that. I am going to start looking for someone to just help me on this new journey in life. If any of you kind of feel like you just want to improve yourself or whatever it is, or you're struggling, whatever it is, you can find someone too. Consider online therapy with BetterHelp. Click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com slash Kelsey Kreppel. And thanks again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video and my channel. And let's get back to the vlog. I don't know why every single time I go into Dear Media, I forget to frickin' record in there. But I just finished 
recording an episode of Circle Time with Girl Boss Town, Robin. That'll be out in a few weeks, so you'll see that. And since I'm out here, my Pilates studio is nearby. I packed myself a snack, and I'm gonna go to Pilates out here. And I don't know why I packed myself plain yogurt. Like, I don't like yogurt. <laughs> It's like one of those things that I feel like I should eat as a snack, and so I packed it, and now I'm like... No. The thing with yogurt is, I can't tell if it's bad, like if it's sour. I'm gonna put one of these in it, one of these bars. That's a good idea. Kelsey, good work, good thinking. That's better. This is good. It's good with the bar in it. These bars are so messy. That's my update. Sorry I always forget to film in Dear Media. I promise I will next time. Scout's honor. Hey. Here he goes, running out of the room as soon as I start recording. Why does he do that? I just got back from Pilates. Class was great. Now I'm hungry. So I'm gonna have some of my chia pudding that I made yesterday. We're gonna try it. Ready? I'm kinda scared. It looks really watery. It's like really liquidy. I hate that. I hate that. It's so kind of thick. So I have the blueberries that I cleaned yesterday to eat with it. It's like too liquidy. I think it's the milk. <laughs> what did I do wrong? The fuck? These blueberries aren't even very good. Okay, a two bite rule. So I take an actual bite. It's fine. It's not great, but I'm gonna eat it. It just needs to be thicker, I think. Like, I feel like it's not ready. Maybe I don't need to do the yogurt. The more I eat it, the more it grows on me. Okay. It's growing on me a little bit. Another day. Who are you Wait. talking to? I'm doing a taste test of my chia pudding. How is it? Not good. <laughs> Why do you taste it like when you made it? Because it's not ready. The chia seeds aren't like expanded. Like that'd be um, weird. Okay, how is it? A sip. Whatever See, that's is. how liquidy it is. It's not bad. It needs to be sweeter. Yeah, I know, okay? I try. I need to put more honey in it next time and maybe a little bit more vanilla. Cody doesn't think chia seeds are for him. Do I look ripped after my Pilates class? I will eat all four bowls of it that I made though because shit's not going to waste. There's a lot of fiber and chia seeds, and I haven't been very regular. Going to the little girl's room. That's all I'm gonna say. Good morning. Oh my God, it's perfect. Oh my stars. It's a ramen. Cody literally ran out of the room again. It's so weird. I know. And I like whispered good morning. We just got back from taking all three of the pets to our new vet just to get them like checked out. And it was so fun. One of the cats got a little scared and was hiding behind me. And he was hiding behind me and he peed all over my denim. Like it. My vintage denim Louis Vuitton bag is soiled, to say the least. Have you ever just like woken up and you're just like, I actually don't think my brain is on today. I feel like that's kind of happening to me. Just forgot to flip the switch. Thank you, oh my God, Cody, wow, those are beautiful. Look at these, they look beautiful. I think brisket was the pee culprit because he pees when he gets scared. He peed all over himself when we moved. He loves water, so when I had to give him a bath, <laughs> he was just lay like laying on me and purring the entire time. You are really good at making eggs. Like, how are you so good at it? How do you get your eggs this texture? Cody may be good at eggs, but I'm so good at avocado toast. That is Parmesan cheese, while honey drizzled on top. I owe it all to Bria Lem. Hi, we're in the car, obviously, because guess what? Guess who's joining me for the most fun activity? Cody, obviously. And guess what we're doing? We're trying another drink off the Starbucks 
secret menu. Frappuccinos, let's get into it, fraps. Right off the bat, I just, I don't think I wanna do another like strawberries and cream frapp because I really didn't like that strawberry syrup. We might go a little ch more chocolatey today. Cadbury egg, chocolate chip brownie, vanilla bean frapp, java chips, mocha syrup. That one sounds good. Let's do that one. Let's, we're gonna do the chocolate chip brownie today. So it's a vanilla bean frappuccino with java chips and mocha syrup and top it with whipped cream and chocolate drizzle. But I feel like I'm gonna like this one. Or we can also do cinnamon roll. Vanilla bean frap, white mocha syrup, cinnamon dolce syrup. Okay, we're gonna do cinnamon roll. We'll be back. Hey, we're back in the car. So I went with the cinnamon roll one. It looks good, very white. It's a lot less scary looking than last week's. Let me tell you what it is. A vanilla bean frappuccino with white mocha syrup and cinnamon dolce syrup and topped with whipped cream and cinnamon dolce powder. Let's see how it tastes. So. These are all very sweet. <laughs> the cinnamon dolce one is is solid. I can drink more of this than I can of the other one. I think what I need to do is add more cinnamon dolce syrup than the white mocha. I did two pumps of each, I just did even. But I think if I did like one pump white mocha and two pumps cinnamon dolce or three pumps cinnamon dolce, it'd be a little bit cinnamon in year. Cinnamon in year. That's good. Okay, this one I'm rating it seven out of 10. I'm gonna say that that was a success. Way better than last week. Way better. Okay, we're back and I just cleaned my purse. Since I had to empty it to clean piss, I thought, why not show you guys what's in my bag? My car keys, my wallet, I have a note a notepad and a gel pen. These are like the pieces of paper that I use to write the journal questions for circle time. So if I ever need to write any like when I'm there, recording, I keep this with me. I could probably take it out, honestly, like I've never used it once. Speaking of which, I have my journal questions here. When I do circle time, the journal questions are wrapped in little pipe cleaners. Next up, let's see, we have a receipt. This is from being, from recording, from the Dear Media Studio, from when I was paying to leave. Here is my name card from the baby shower this past week in San Francisco. Cute, right? I actually made these. Here's a pair of sunglasses that I wear occasionally. This is the brand. I actually never know how to say that, this brand. Here is another pair of sunglasses that I absolutely love. These are Lexola. I always feel cool when I wear these. I actually feel cool when I wear both of those. Oh, let's see, we got some more trash going on here. A little boarding pass for our flight to San Francisco. That is from the baby party. Baby shower, I'm not gonna show you because it's Cody's, but our friends, Adam and Elizabeth, on everybody's seat, they put a little note from them and it said like what they hope that their baby gets from each of us, like your creativity or your friendship or whatever it is. They said stuff like that. So uh, here's another boarding pass. This one is from when we went to Tahoe. Here's Cody's name tag. Here are my to-go Tums. You just always need to have Tums on you. I feel like Tums just make me feel better always. What's like growing in here? Do you know what I mean? Okay, I might need a new one of these. So this is the um, Coral Dior Lip Glow Oil. We have the Summer Fridays, the Lip Butter Balm. I like this one. This is just like chapstick that I really like actually and it has SPF in it. It's the Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm. This is like a perfect chapstick. I would say this is like everyday chapstick. Summer Fridays and then Road. I also use like kind of just like everydayers. Another gloss, Patrick Ta Major Volume Plumping Gloss. Hand sanitizer, I actually need to get a new one. This is from when we went to the Harry Styles concert. They passed these out. Instructions, please place paper over a flashlight during Sign of the Times to create a stadium of color. And then they gave us like a colored piece of paper and like no one really did it. So it kind of was a fail. A little bit of trash here, a little bit of trash here. A little bit of trash here. Gum, clip, hair tie. A journal question actually from Circle Time. Let's see what this one says. Have you ever had an imaginary friend? That's a good one. Listen to Circle Time to hear my answer. And last but not least, we have this lip gloss as well. I actually really like this one. This is from Hourglass. So there you have it. Just a little purse tour for you guys. That was kind of fun. It's us again. So we are driving to go record Insanely Chill, Cody's podcast. I'm gonna be a guest on. And we're feeling so good. Cody, how are you? Um, I'm good. I'm good. He's good. 
having some anxiety problems. Recently. Really? Yes. What's going on? I just feel like fidgety and weird. I'm sorry that you've been feeling that way. No, it's fine, but like normally I'd feel good right now because mm -hmm. it's like a 10.54, it's like my, you know. It's your peak. Anytime before 3 p.m., I'm like, I should feel good, I love it. Yeah. But recently I've just been like. <laughs> Thank you for opening up with us. You're welcome. Hey. Um, I've been such a bad vlogger the last couple days and we did some fun stuff and like the camera was in the car and I just forgot to film. I'm really, really sorry, okay? Cody's leaving for like, five, six days. He's going on a camping trip with his parents. What podcast are you downloading? Yeah, you should do an audio book. Yeah. Like Matthew McConaughey's I've heard is good. I've actually heard it's bad. I don't know, my dad said read it. I've, I've heard it's bad. I mean, I've heard like both, like yeah. adults think it's good. And then people our age is like stupid. Mm. We are not adults. <laughs> Anyway, so we just went to Starbucks and this is the end of this vlog. So I love you all so very much. And thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Okay, stay sweet, stay strong, stay powerful and stay kind. Bye, love you. I think he meant that one guys for sure. Say bye to the vloggies. All right, bye, love you.